Hi guys, welcome back to After the Island. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Alex. And we have Sean Say with us today. Hi. How are you doing post villa? I'm so good. It's weird acclimating back into like regular life where you can like wake up when you want, <laughs> eat what you want, drive to where you want. So <laughs> I'm getting back in the swing of things, but I feel like I keep forgetting to do things now that I'm like not on a strict schedule <laughs> you're like wait I, I have to go to the beach hut like, yeah alex and i, I would always joke we'd be doing this looking for the mic <laughs> yeah <laughs> all the time what was it like for you getting on the show did you apply were you reached out to yeah so i was reached out to on like a couple weeks before my 21st birthday back in november um and so it was honestly like perfect timing. I just got out of a relationship like six months before. I was I was going to do a semester abroad, but they said that was fine. I did all my interviews on Zoom and everything, so I didn't miss out. Um, oh, well, but cool. yeah, they reached out to me on Instagram and kind of just got the ball rolling. How did you feel about being a bombshell and walking into Casa Amor? It was definitely nerve wracking. I going into Casa Amor, there's always the like stigma of like ruining a relationship or causing drama or just not even finding a connection because you're so late in the game. Um, but I think I I think I did it to the best of my ability. I made a connection with Jared. Um, we are more of a friend vibe than a relationship vibe and so for Kat and Jared I'm very happy for them um but yeah it was just like it was nice when everybody was so welcoming when we got there the guys were really open to getting to know us and nobody was weird I made a lot of really strong friendships that I'm gonna take with me for the rest of my life and so I, it was great. I honestly, I, now I have that to live with. I was a Casa Amor girl. I got in the villa. I I made my mark. <laughs> you did the damn thing. Yeah, you, did you really did. Thing. You, you so crushed it. When, when you were watching before you went in, did you have your eye on anyone? Like it could be someone that went home or at, like a guy in Casa Amor that when you got there, you were like, eh, never mind, not for me. Yeah, I was into Isaiah walking into the villa. Um, he's definitely my type physically. He's We have a lot of things in common, and I just thought we'd hit it off really well. But obviously, he was with Sydney, who's also a redhead. And so that was probably a little bit uncomfortable for him to like try and make a connection with somebody who, I mean, we don't look alike, but like, had similar features like that right. definitely had yeah. to stick in the back of his mind um so i talked to him the first day i was there but i just i could feel that he was being tense and everything and i didn't want to make anybody feel like that so i just kind of let that go started getting to know jared and then phoebe and isaiah got together so that was fun <laughs> How did it feel to sleep with Isaiah on the first night? Oh, it was nice. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We just like, we had like pillow talk and like, we didn't really snuggle, but like, it was, it was nice to share a bed with him, especially like with people. Cause you see like sexy people all the time out in the real world, but like, you know, when you're going in there that you're going to be surrounded by some of the most beautiful people in the country. Yeah. Um, and so I had a great time. In the oh my God. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> it's great. I didn't even realize that you slept with him the first night until we talked to Jared yesterday. So he was like giving us the tea and stuff. And I didn't know that. And I was like, oh, my God, wait, this is so funny. Like, I didn't even didn't notice know that part. Then I know they did. No, they did. They I'm did. just an idiot and like didn't see it. <laughs> Because I, I thought maybe, too, that you guys were going to hit it off, especially mm -hmm. watching your conversation with Isaiah um, that they aired. You guys seemed – I, I thought you, it was going to maybe be a thing. I was hoping it was going to be a thing. But um, once we kind of – me and Phoebe were kind of like on like a girl's world understanding where like I didn't – 
I'm like not a dramatic person. And so I don't like stepping on people's toes and causing shit. Um, and so the second that like I wasn't really getting the like I, I would couple up with you kind of vibe, then I was like, Phoebe, you go for it. Have your time. Um, and then made other connections, which I probably wouldn't have had time to do had I been so stuck on Isaiah. Right. Yeah. So, so true. When you were talking to Jared, when you moved on from Isaiah to Jared, did Jared tell you that he was interested in Kat? Um, not really. I asked him about Kat and he kind of like brushed it off and like only said like, yeah, we don't really know each other that well, but we were beginning to talk. And so I was kind of under the impression that that wasn't a thing and that I was like going to get an actual opportunity when I got to the villa. But obviously, as you've seen, um, immediately they got back together. Um, and it was a weird situation because he came, he pulled me aside at one point and told me he was going to sleep by himself outside just to kind of think about life, gather his thoughts and everything. Yeah. And then obviously Kat swooped in and slept with him. And then I found out the next morning and it was, I felt like really stupid, but then they came and apologized to me. We worked through it and now we're all good. Yeah, that yeah, we that were like was one of the moments where we were like, Jared, you shady bastard. And we yeah. said it straight to his face. And he was like, I know. I I I did I don't yeah, know what I was doing. He fully admitted that he was in the wrong there. As he should. I woke yeah. up and I was like, bitch. I was like, what's going on here? But you know, who am I to stand in the way of love, of a real hey. connection? So after watching them kind of get closer and whatnot, did, did you really explore any other connections while you were there that we didn't see? Um, so I kind of just tried to talk to everybody and get to know everybody while I was there because I mean, I like I had watched the show before I knew what was going on in the show and like not being in like a legitimate couple. I knew that I wasn't necessarily going to have that much time on the show and so I definitely feel that I didn't have like the best opportunity walking in there because like everybody basically was wifed up like initially, even now, like people still really aren't switching. Like they, they even yeah. had the recoupling where they were like returned to sender, like where the yeah. guy like, took their girls back. Um, yeah. yeah. And so I, there wasn't a love connection there for me in the villa, but definitely being out of that, I'm gonna start going on more dates. Gonna see yes. it. I love that. Talking in my DMs. Gonna I, just I wanna know, are there any good DMs? <laughs> are there any I good not DMs? As many as I would have liked, but you oh know, gosh. give it time. Give, give it time. time. They'll yeah, after right? this will be flooding in. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I wanna go back to the recut or yeah, the Casa recoupling. So how did you feel when you walked in with Jared? Like, did you feel nervous, scared? I um, am not really a nervous person. And situations like that don't really, like, don't really cause me too much anxiety, especially when I, like, I know I'm safe. I honestly was, my heart was beating. We did a Casa recoupling, a little mini one beforehand. Um that obviously you guys didn't see because it only mm -hmm. shows us walking into the villa but i i could feel that thing pumping out of my chest i was like am i gonna go am i gonna stay what's going on um but then he picked me so i felt good <laughs> <laughs> but walking in was weird it it's like you get a lot of death stares when you first get in there especially because you're stepping on a lot of other people's turf you're the new girl walking into pretty solidified structure already. Um, and especially because I was the other redhead as, from the challenge that they showed uh, that was kissing Isaiah. Yeah. So I knew Sydney was going to be a little like. She was cheering for you when you walked in. Yeah, I think actually. she had a sigh of relief. That yeah, you were she was with smiling. Was yeah, really she was happy. smiling and like cheering and clapping. <laughs> She told me that she was like really excited to see who the other one was. I I thought she was gonna be like 
a little like more like taken back because of it but she was honestly amazing uh we love i her. love that We're a big fan of her we didn't see this on the show but we saw that you got pied who pied you um actually isaiah pied me <laughs> why because he said in his speech he was like like i like this girl no hard feelings but there can only be one redhead and so he pied me oh my gosh that's oh my hilarious gosh. That's they should have shown funny. that i <laughs> wish they showed that that's so funny they, I know. Was so I just, appalled. Funny because i knew going into the challenge i was i looked at cat and i was like at Isaiah's gonna pie me. I was like, I just know he's gonna pie me. And she was like, No, like you'll be fine. Like, don't worry about it. Isaiah gets up. I'm like, Yep, he's gonna pie me. I just I could see it on his face. That and is so it was, funny. It was just funny because like the re like there wasn't any reason behind it yeah. other than the fact that he like was like crawling to get Sydney back and he needed to do anything in his power. That's why almost every girl pied Isaiah. And they yeah. Pied me. It was, it was funny. That's I'm really dead. funny. I wish they showed that because yeah, um, me too. Come on. It's so was, funny. The internet was writing for you. They were like, I need to know who pied Sean say like for what, for what? <laughs> For I'm having red hair. I know that because it sucks to be like, <laughs> you like look good and then all of a sudden you're covered in pie and nobody even knows why. I'm like, you're just like, on. it's fine. I'll be I here. think the joke is hilarious yeah, too. I love it. That. He definitely gets a little brownie points for that joke. It's so funny. Who were some of your best friends in the villa? Did you connect with the OG girls? Yeah, I did. I think me and Phoebe and Bella were definitely the closest. We came in together. We had. In Costa More, we had a lot more time to get to know each other. It wasn't as structured as it was in the villa. Um, and so I was definitely closest with them. But coming into the villa, like, everybody welcomed us with open arms. And I ended up getting – talking to Zita a lot. And I didn't actually get a chance to get to know Deb as much as I would have liked. But mm. she was hilarious. But I think, like, out of the OGs, definitely – Courtney, Zita, and Deb were like my go-to gals. How did you feel when you were, because we kind of saw you consoling Phoebe during this whole Sydney Isaiah situation. How did you feel about their relationship once they got back in the villa? About Isaiah and Phoebe's relationship? Yeah. Um, well, I I know it didn't show this. I pulled them both for a few conversations, kind of just as like a middleman in a sense. Um, I told her, I was like, yeah, it does suck that this happened, but you you walked in here knowing that that was gonna be a possibility. And so don't really let that get you down. Like definitely talk to other people, see what other connections you can make while you're here, um, but continue to get to know him. Like don't throw that all out because in this moment, like he wants Sydney. And then I talked to him too and I told him like, this is Love Island. Like, you're supposed to follow your heart. And yeah, it sucks. People are going to get hurt. But if you're not true to yourself and you're not really, like, doing what you came in here to do, not only can television portray you in a weird way because it seems like you're disingenuous and everything, but also, like, you don't feel good about yourself if you're doing things in there that you don't want to do. And so um, the... I think it was the second night I was in the villa. I told him, like, if your heart's with Sydney, like, go for Sydney. Like, don't keep her kind of on ice because maybe there's a possibility with Phoebe. Like, you can explore that outside of the villa if you and Sydney don't work out, like, later on, if that's something you want to do. But especially if your relationship is that strong already, like, there's no reason to, like, throw stones at like throw stones at it and just break it down for no reason especially if that's not like your person that walked in you know mm -hmm. yeah speaking of your person can you tell us the tea on what's going on with Chaz yeah oh there's nothing going on with Chaz <laughs> no with Chaz no I was just getting to know everybody like after the whole Jared thing and like trying to figure it out and he Chaz is hilarious he um wanted to get to know me he wanted to get to know Bella he wanted to get to know Phoebe for a little bit but then like that was like a no and 
he was like telling all of us all these different things. He would like tell me that I was his top pick and then tell Bella that she was his top pick. And then I would tell him that we can't talk unless he figures his shit out. And like, I wasn't feeling it in terms of like a relationship vibe anyway. Like he's really not my type and like, he's just too young for me. Like, I don't want somebody that's still in college, which might sound hypocritical because I am, <laughs> but. Um, no, I get it. <laughs> I, I totally get it. And so I need somebody who's just as mature and on the same level as me, AKA somebody in their mid to late twenties. Right. <laughs> yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Looking back on your whole experience, did you have any regrets or anything that you wish that you, you had done differently? Honestly, I can't say that I do. I really, I just wish I got put in earlier so I had a fair shot or that they had like, they didn't drop us by couples because I felt like that was just, there was no way I was coming out on top on that. Yeah. Situation. Yeah. There was, there was no way you were in a goner. Like it yeah. was just, that sucked. We, yeah. The second that they said there's a recoupling, I was like, all right, chopping block. I'm out. <laughs> like, bye. <laughs> nice. It's been great. <laughs> it's been, it's been fun. It's been fun guys. <laughs> oh. Oh, that sucks. I really didn't think that they were going to do. I thought they were going to do the couples, but then I thought they were going to have people vote. Right. So I, I was shocked. I thought they were going to do a recoupling before it to kind of, you know, rearrange some things, but it didn't happen. And now you're here. But well, yeah, because they had a guy's recoupling before Casa. And mm -hmm. so I thought that just based on how the show usually is, like I thought that we were going to have a girls choose recoupling and that would have like got gotten me to stay in a little longer, but also I would have had the opportunity to like get to know somebody else on like a deeper couple vibe than just sleeping in a bed alone the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was, that was a little weird, but um, then the two guys left, from Casa and so there were significantly less girls than guys and mm -hmm. that wasn't gonna happen they weren't about to bring in like three new girls to like remedy this situation <laughs> um but yeah then Joel came in he was great he and I are just completely different life stages um so I definitely I wasn't seeing anything romantic with that either I felt bad for him because even when the recoupling happened he was crying Joel was more because I was like looking at the Love Island Instagram and it said that he was like kind of picking in between Phoebe and Courtney. Um, mm -hmm. Do which you see him with Phoebe? Really interesting to me because I, that was just not, not happening when I was there. <laughs> like, you so, said the math isn't mathing. The math is not mathing. I know that Phoebe was like interested, but just based on like who I know them both to be as people, like that wouldn't really work. So what about Courtney? Like, what's going on here? Courtney is just, I don't know. I don't know if that would work with Courtney. I seriously don't know if they had one conversation while I was there. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So I don't, that, that really came out of nowhere. I know that Phoebe thought Joel was attractive when he got there and came in. And so that I see that a little bit more, but I'm just confused because when I left, at that point, Courtney and Chad were in a pretty good place. Um, Phoebe had just started talking to Chad, and I know that's been kind of getting um, a little tense, a little dramatic. Um, but I need to watch the show. Yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> Hilarious. I haven't seen mine. I haven't seen what's happened after. Like all I've seen is like what has been posted, and mm -hmm. so uh... I need to take a day watch everything catch yeah. up yeah. Shantae I have a hot take um I if I had to like picture coupling up everyone from this season I feel like I would have liked to have seen you and Felipe really yeah <laughs> I he's cute he's like it's interesting because they didn't they didn't put people on the show that were like normally my type but I like I thought he would have been a really fun person to meet, like, honestly. And so I'm upset that he 
him and Tyler specifically, I would have liked to get a chance to meet um, before they left. But the nice thing about like, obviously being the Love Island family is that I'm going to get to meet everybody that was on the show. People from other seasons, like we'll all do stuff together. And so yeah. I honestly can't wait. Yeah, oh, yeah, I hope same. there's a big reunion. Well, we're hoping. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, me and Felipe would have looked good together. I'm not going to lie. I agree. That, that I was hoping. Yeah. I was rooting for that in my mind. <laughs> he needs to move away from Dubai and come to LA. Yeah, Dubai's too far. It's time. I mean, I want, I'm trying to go to Dubai, though. Like, Slide I've never in those been to Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Petition hey, for Shansay and Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> Every, it's so funny. I keep saying things that are like, bring her back like next bachelorette like i was like i was like it's always like, good to see okay. it. i was like i'm here for it <laughs> that's amazing what's your sign i'm a scorpio okay oh yeah. okay. um i don't know which is which the rising or moon but uh -huh. i'm my regular sign is scorpio and then i also am aquarius and gemini so i got, got a, lot I'm a gemini. Of, a lot of things going on got a lot of go <laughs> Got a lot of a lot going on. I got you. I know. I'm spicier than they showed on TV. Oh my gosh, you like, so are. I know. Wow. I'm blown away right now. Me too. I'm taken back. <laughs> Thank you. Um, also, what was like the best lesson you learned being in Villa or in Casa, whichever? I think from the overall experience, the best thing that I learned was that like being vocal about what you're feeling and what you need and kind of where you're coming from is like really important in terms of like any relationship, regardless if it's romantic or friendship. Um, because I wasn't, I'm not the best person at expressing how I'm feeling. It takes me a lot to push me over the edge and I kind of like just keep it to myself. And I always, I've been like that for a long time. And so it was definitely hard for me the first couple of days to like, kind of break down those barriers and be more open about like myself and more so how I'm feeling because I'm always pretty open about like my life story, but people like never really know how I'm feeling in like about them or if I'm upset or so I think the best thing that I learned was that vulnerability is not a weakness. It's, it's strong to be vulnerable. You just have to pick and choose who you want to let that who you want to give that information to <laughs> absolutely yeah, definitely that's like we were talking about this yesterday mm -hmm. we feel like we all feel like we have a superpower after coming off love island because you literally just feel like you can go tell anyone anything that yeah. you're feeling like yeah if you yeah. like a guy you're just gonna say it and if he doesn't like you you're like okay next <laughs> bye <laughs> I know. Um, I was coming off of that. I was like, my friends are going to have no idea what hit them. Like, I'm a new person. It's so true. And then for anyone watching, where can people find you um, on socials? They can find me on Instagram and TikTok and Snapchat. All of them are the same. They're all the same handle. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start posting more stuff. I've always <laughs> been pretty bad at it, but now... Now I have a platform, and so now I want to use it. <laughs> What's your handle? Uh, Shantae Corby. So thank you so, so much for coming to talk to us. Thank we are so excited that we got to see your personality. You're this hilarious. Is, this is amazing. And we hope to meet you in real life soon. Well, yeah, I'm in the area. You're in the oh, area. Yeah. Like, let's look. Yeah, we got to get together. Yeah, we're here. If anyone is watching this video, give it a like. Give it a comment. Yes. Rate our podcast. Go yes. follow Shansay. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Tell us we're pretty and that you love us. <laughs> and on that note, thank you all for watching. We love you. Bye. Bye.